Hi, this is Crystal the Herbalist, and I've been doing a series of videos on Field of Herbs, where it's collecting, drying, storing, and herbal preparations. Now, I'm not here to diagnose or prescribe or prevent any disease. If you do happen to have a medical condition, make sure you are seeking proper medical care. Now, a suppository is an easily fusible preparation of convenient and soluble base, and they usually are in the shape of a cylinder, a cone, or egg-shaped, or even a pencil. And then it's actually put into the nostrils, the rectum, urethra, and the vagina. Now, it can also be a preparation of nutrient ingredients. The patient is unable to take nourishment in the usual manner. Now, there's several different ways you can make it. Uh, the most common way is to use slippery elm, as you can see here, but you can also use cocoa butter or even olive oil, which you can see these ingredients, which they can actually be frozen and then used that way because what happens is, is the solid formations are actually introduced into the different areas where they'll soften or melt at body temperature. What you'll see here, uh, the way I made it, I made it with slippery elm and garlic powder, golden seal, uh, plantain, lobelia, and marshmallow. And then what I did is I, I mixed it, as you can tell at this point here, I mixed all of these things together. And then I added enough water to make a thick paste. I started rolling them into various sizes, as you can see here. The uh, different sizes, for example, for a rectal suppository, they're tapered and weigh about two grams. Could be a little bit more, but it varies depending on the size of the individual, if it's a baby or an adult, whatever. There's all, Then there's, uh, for the urethral suppositories, they're more pencil shaped, pointed at one end, and they're only about seven centimeters in length and weigh about four grams. Then you can see the vaginal suppositories, they're more of an old oval shape. They weigh about five grams. So I, what I've been, what I've done is I've let mine dry and then once it's dried, when you're ready to use them, you just wet them down a little bit before you actually use it. So uh, I hope this has been helpful, and I know it's not quite a, the, the funnest subject to talk about, but it is a great way to clear up a lot of different situations that are going on. So if you have any questions, please email me or uh, contact me in other various ways, that either on Facebook or uh, on my blog, and I'll see you in the next video. Good health to you.